October 28, 2018, pictures of the high tide in Venice go viral around the world. This is nothing new for the Venetians who are used to it, but the intensity caught everyone off guard. It had been 10 years since a high tide had exceeded the threshold of 1.5 meters above sea level. On October 28th at 2 p.m., 75% of the city was underwater. The usual solutions, such as walkways, pumps, and barriers, were not enough this time. Inevitably, restaurant goers were forced to eat their pizza with their feet in the standing water. Only a system of floodgates at the four lagoon entrances can protect the city from flooding. This solution, called Mose, is based on an idea that is as simple as it is innovative. It consists of 78 flap gates like these. They each weigh nearly 330 tons and will lie at the bottom of the lagoon. When needed, the flap gates will be pumped with air until they rise in a straight line blocking the flow of the tide coming in. Despite its simplicity, Mose is the most ambitious and complex hydraulic engineering project ever attempted in the world. It took years to assemble the concrete platform on the sea floor. The individual components that make up the platform have been built here, in this site on the mainland. The engineers call them caissons, they may look like simple four-story buildings under construction, but each and every detail is special. From the concrete to the steel, all elements must endure the salt water. Each caisson weighs 24,000 tons and requires a special trolley fitted with pistons capable of raising them gently, moving them to the launch pontoon. Then, once it's semi-submerged, like an iceberg, the caisson is dragged by the tugboats until it reaches its final home. This is the most delicate phase. The caisson needs to be lowered slowly until it rests on the ballast that's been prepared for it on the sea floor. It needs to be aligned with the previous one in such a way that the trimming between one caisson to the next is completely watertight. The platform has been designed to contain an underwater tunnel that crosses the entire stretch of sea. Here, the technicians can go down and fix the hinges of the flap gates. Back on the surface, the flap gate is now ready to be installed. It's time for the last flap gate of this inlet to be mounted. But the operation on number 19 gets off to a bad start. No, no, in fact, guarda l'onda, non mi pare che voglia abbassarsi per adesso. E il vento neanche mi pare. Non andiamo a fare pasticci con l'ultima paratoia. The divers swim underwater to prepare the slots that will host the hinges. Okay. Now for the most sensitive phase of the descent, the hooking of the hinges. Allora devi ruotarla leggermente a sud, leggermente. E leggermente abbassarmela. Ok, adesso vedo e secondo me va bene. The cables gradually lower the flap gate. That allows the hinges to perfectly slide into the fitted slots. Video cameras film the decisive moment. The technicians have to constantly make small adjustments to compensate for all external interference. 
the technicians know the hinges are the heart of the system. All electronic connections with the flap gate pass through them. Ti confermo che siamo in touch down. Adesso potete partire con le verifiche. It's touchdown. So far, so good. But it's not over yet. The technicians in the sea tunnel must now complete the hooking by rotating it 90 degrees and securing it to the platform. A message arrives from underwater. It's perfectly watertight. Operation over. Da qua non potete procedere con la lettura degli inclinometri, la paratoia è completamente appoggiata sul cassone. All 19 flap gates are in place. To assist in the installation of the rest of the high water protection gates is the Mose Jackup vessel. It's basically a floating barge resembling a grasshopper. Its special design allows it to connect and lift the flap gates directly from the pier. The Jackup has four independent engines, allowing it to easily rotate 360 degrees with absolute precision and even stay in place without the use of anchors. Once the jackup reaches its position, the onboard computers neutralize the currents to keep it stable, even as large ships pass through the waterway. A system of hydraulic jacks raise the barge above the water to stabilize the vessel. Hanging from four steel cables, the technicians lower the flap gate to the platform below. By the end of the year, all mobile barriers are scheduled to be in place. The first tests on those already installed have started. But it'll take months of tuning and testing before Mose is operative. Only then will the world discover if this colossal megastructure can save Venice and its ancient beauty.